Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with the Showbiz Top 5 for Wednesday, October the 7th. The Real Housewives of New Jersey is coming back next season. Won't be here until 2010, unfortunately. But Bravo has not announced that the entire cast is coming back. Now, we have seen them pull the stunt before where, you know, one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta wasn't exciting enough, so they replaced her this season with Candy. And we've had, you know, coming and going people on other shows. But, yeah, this is um, something we're all waiting to see. I'm sure everyone in the cast will be back, but they could throw in a new one. And also, uh, Bravo's announced they're going to do another Real Housewives location, this one in Washington, D.C., and it will also air next year. Brooke Shields and Jim Belushi involved in a very minor plane accident, um, except for the person involved. I guess it wouldn't be considered minor to them. But they were flying in for some appearance, some party or something at Hearst Castle, and, you know, landed this little, well, they didn't, the pilot landed the Cessna on a private run strip. And as he um, landed safely, everything was good. He went to the back to help Brooke and Jim get off the plane, Forgot to set the parking brake. Yep, planes have parking brakes. And it started rolling forward and hit an SUV. They say the SUV got the worst of it, but fortunately nobody was hurt. And here's a little spoiler alert. You can, I don't know, plug your ears and close your eyes so you won't read my lips for the next 15 seconds or so. But if you have Dancing with the Stars on TiVo, don't pay attention to this part. I think it's pretty common knowledge Tom DeLay quit last night. He's just got stress fractures in both of his feet and he cannot continue, so he's out. Figured uh, the producers might let this week's elimination slide, but they did not. Debbie Mazar and her partner Max are gone from the competition, and that one's got to hurt. Jay-Z thinks uh, success may have gone a little uh, bit to Rihanna's head. Doesn't think she's really got her head in the game right now. She's been spending more time partying than she has been in the studio and working on her career. So reportedly, he has taken one of his own personal security guards and hired him to watch Rihanna full time so she doesn't do something really stupid that she has to uh, spend the next few months correcting with uh, public relations and those nightmares. All right, so the Kardashians still say that Chloe and Lamar Odom are really married. Give these happy young kids a break. But Radar Online says that is far from the truth. They are not legally married because they haven't worked out the details of the prenuptial agreement. There's been no paperwork filed in the state of California making this a legal wedding. They just went ahead and went through it because he needed it for the deadline for their November sweeps period. You know how it is. So anyway, they say the major holdup is Lamar. He doesn't want to give Chloe half of anything, half of anything he's bringing into the marriage or half of anything he earns post-marriage, which I don't know how I feel about that. But they're still hammering out the details. It could take weeks before they finally are able to sign the paperwork, making them legally man and wife. In the meantime, a source says they really are in love. And they think this one's actually going to make it to uh, the, the district's office to get the paperwork signed. We'll see. That's your show. Top 5 for Wednesday.